Our next act has taken sword swallowing to a whole new level. One sword, baby stuff. Two swords, mere child's play. But well, you won't believe what this guy can get into his mouth. And just to prove this isn't magic, we've brought along a fluoroscope which provides live x-ray. Please welcome the pride of Moscow, Idaho, from the show Outrageous, Brad Byers. swallowed seven swords. Oh. It does not get more extreme than that. Brad Byers, his sword and his spleen. Thank you very much. We're just getting started. More extreme variety when we get back. Tennis rackets, arrows. A little while back, we introduced you to Brad Byers, who set a new Guinness record by swallowing eight 27 inch long swords. We told you then that Brad takes things to the extreme. Well, he's back with Mark Thompson in our Guinness studio. To witness a new category in the Guinness Book. Brad Byers will be attempting a new Guinness record that will earn him the title of the Human Toolbox. You're not going to believe what you're about to see. I assure you it's true. There are no tricks involved. If you're at all squeamish, you may want to turn away from the television set and certainly do not try this. Brad, stage is yours. Thank you. I have here a five-inch long spike. 
and a walnut board, and a 16 ounce claw hammer. I'm gonna attempt to literally nail this board to my face. Here I have a length of chain and an ice pick. And I want to show you that this is a real sharp ice pick here. It's the real thing. Of course, it should be quite obvious you shouldn't try this at home. <laughs> the ice pick or the nail or whatever implement I'm using actually enters the left nostril, goes under the sinus passages, continues above the roof of the mouth, and the point of the nail stops just 3 16 of an inch away from the brain stem. Oh. Now here I have just a little board. I want to show you that this drill is the real thing. You can see the hole in the board. Now I'll attempt something that's never been done before. It's a real drill, real drill bit. I'll attempt to drill into my own head. Oh my. I have to be extremely careful. <laughs> if I aim up too much, it'll catch on the sinus passages. Too low, it'll come out through from my mouth. Too far back, and I drill into the brain stem. Scene. Clearly, we should reiterate, this is hugely dangerous. Well, keep in mind, I've been doing this for over 20 years, and I would not recommend that anyone try this at home. Although it is genuine, you can die attempting to do it. I mean, I'm risking my life every time I try it. I, I, are you just, I mean, with all due respect, I mean, didn't you have any other hobbies or a job? <laughs> What does it feel like when those different objects are entering your head? Well, it's pretty scary. I know when I'm going too far because at the very back of the channel, I hear a crunching noise. <laughs> the drill has a separate problem because not only can you go too far back, but you've got the grooves trying to drill out too. But it has a tendency to want to catch on the bone at the opening of the nose. And so it starts rattling my head when the drill bit's going at high speed. Let's take a look at an x-ray of the nail actually going right into your head. You can see the nasal passages there above the nail. You can see the roof of my mouth below the nail. And you can see it, it actually comes out the back of the throat and then re-enters the head. The doctors tell me that one day I'm going to keel over on stage because the nail channel seems to be working progressively further back. I must tell you, while it's, I, I think, really definitely the edges of what anyone should ever see, you gave us a very, very uh, intense few moments here, and we thank you for that. Brad Byers, everybody. Thank you. A Guinness World Record, the Human Toolbox. Only 
Sean Guinness. <laughs> All right, the number of bubbles you must blow must exceed 100. Our Guinness judge is ready with the clock. Brad will now put Cruella into position. He's got to be careful. Brad fires the tarantulas in. The clock starts now. A slow start. Now he's flowing. 20 seconds left. 15 seconds left. He's got to get that wand a little further. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. Brad Byers, you never fail to blow our minds. I want you to look at the tape with us and sort of tell us what was going on here. Well, the tarantula's moving around right now. It's getting pretty scared. And at one point, I'm starting to blow, and my teeth close down just a little bit too close, and it'll cramp on one of the legs. I know. Actually, it does come down after a while to how well you can blow bubbles yes. once you've solved the tarantula problem. That's right. It's sort I, of odd, isn't it? I, several times where I've got just one or two bubbles, so that's really going to hurt. And now the... Tarantula is about to exit. She wasn't real cooperative on uh, emerging, so I had to push her with my tongue. Well, the process.